The Bamboo Labs Multifilament AMS system is one of my favorite tools, and it's not just because I can make multicolor prints like this charming but a little bit terrifying panda bear. In fact, I almost never make multicolor prints with it, and in this video, I'm going to show you why the AMS and the new AMS Lite for the A1 Mini are worth having even if you're never going to print a terrifying panda bear or this adorable little Halloween ghost dog. Before we jump into it, hit like, subscribe, call your mom, tell her about this channel, and ask your lawyer to put me in your will. Okay, here are the reasons that the Bamboo Lab AMS is game-changing and why I would buy one even if I never plan to use it for multicolor printing at all. The absolute killer feature for me is the way that it can prevent ruined prints from tangling and run out. The AMS system can detect filament that's tied into a knot and stuck and filament that's run out and pause the printing for both of those issues till you fixed it. This feature is huge. It saved me more than the $350 price for both hours saved and print jobs saved. Both AMS systems can detect when the spool has stopped and it can detect when the filament has run out. Since most of the systems don't have a way to purge the filament after they've heated back up again, what you end up with is bad layer lines that can sometimes ruin the print. Since the bamboo printers have to purge filament between different color prints, they have a way to get up to temperature and flush out that filament in order to keep going. Which brings us to the next thing that I love, the ability to have backup filament. If you want, you could load all of the slots with one color filament and as each spool runs out, the AMS will automatically switch to the next spool of that color and keep going. For me, the filaments I use most are a gray and a black PLA from Elegoo since I sell a lot of Star Wars blasters and spaceships on my Etsy channel. The filament that I use is about $12 a spool. It's on Amazon. I will link to it in the description below and it is my favorite filament. It's cheap, it's reliable, Reliable, it prints the same. Well, oh my god. Since the AMS automatically switches when a spool runs out, I never have to worry about having spools with just a few feet of filament left on them. I can put in a nearly empty spool and the AMS will switch to a full spool of the same color and type when that runs out. And that brings us nicely into filament colors and types. I'm not talking about the most typical use of multiple colors. I'm talking about using the AMS to store different filament colors and different types for different jobs, not for printing a multicolor piece. In my AMS right now, I currently have a black and a gray PLA and I have a backup of the gray, but I also have a spool of copper color PET G. I've been using that copper PET G to make caps for the railings of my house. I used to have real copper top posts, but those got banged up over time and they're really expensive. At night or when I don't have a commercial or test print to do, I just run another copper top. Carousel. Copper top battery. Not that copper top. No fiddling with the load and unload buttons. I just open the file, print, and go to sleep. Since up to four AMS units can be chained together, a print farm could set up something like an AMS of PLA, one of PETG, and so on. The A1 Mini can only support the one AMS light unit, but the price of the A1 combo is so low that you could buy two A1s and the AMS system and be about the same price as a P1S and an AMS. Easily removable supports are another great use of the AMS. Bamboo makes a filament simply called support. This filament is expensive like like really expensive. It's $40 for a half of a kilogram, but if you're making a mission critical part, like a prototype for a client, it's worth it not to have to fight to get the supports off and not to have to do any post process. The next thing I love is that the AMS is a dry box. Much like cats, filament hates to get wet. Wait, I just gotta do your belly and then you can come out. Unlike cats, filament gets wet very easily, or should I say, filament absorbs water very easily. 3D printer filament is hydrophilic, which means that when it's left alone, it will absorb moisture just like the little silica gel packs that you're not supposed to eat, but which you always want to eat because you're told not to. Because the speeds that the bamboo printers can achieve, having consistent filament is a key to a good print. The problem is that we live on a planet that's mostly water, and some of that water is in the air around you. So if you leave filament out, it will absorb that water, and that leads to prints that are stringy or that fail for no apparent reason. The majority of times I see somebody posting to Reddit and saying, what is wrong with my print? The answer is your filament is wet. And then the person says, but I just took it out of the box. And that doesn't mean that it's dry either. If they package the box up with moisture in the air, it packages the moisture in with the filament. Dehydrating your filament is the first step to dryness. And I've got a link to my favorite dryer in the Amazon store linked in the description below. Bonus tip, you need to put some of that silica desiccant into the dryer. And that is also in my Amazon store. The seal on the AMS keeps out moisture and the cover locks into place to keep out damp air. Is the word damp as bad as moist? Damp air, moist air, damp air, they're both awful. The AMS comes with its own little packages of desiccant and that has to be changed every so often or your dry box will become a wet box. Oh, that doesn't sound good either. Bamboo Studio software will let you know when it's time to replace their drying pack. Sorry, AMS Lite users, there's no cover on your system, so your filament will still suck up moisture over time. Finally, and this one I think is particularly cool, you can use the AMS to print two different colored objects on the same plate. 
I don't mean an object with two different colors. I mean two different objects, each a different color. This only works if the objects are similar in size because it uses the print by object setting in Bamboo Slicer. Here's how it works. If you put two different color objects on the bed, you end up with a color change for each layer and a bucket full of filament poop. That's because the whole bed is sliced at one horizontal layer at a time and two different colored objects on the same bed are the same as having one object with two colors as far as the slicer is concerned. The trick here is to go to the others tab and from print sequence go to by object instead of by layer. When you select by object you go back to the prepare tab and select each object and assign it to a color by right clicking and picking the filament. With print as object on you have to make sure that the items aren't too near each other but that's what these blue shapes represent, the areas where collisions might happen. Do you have a bamboo printer and thinking about getting the AMS? Are you thinking of switching to bamboo and the AMS is one of the reasons you're interested? Or are you watching just because I'm so awesome? Let me know in the comments below, especially if it's because you think that I am awesome. You can find more of my reviews up here, you can subscribe over there, and you can subscribe down below with the regular subscribe button. For Dave Tries This, I'm David Schloss, and as always, thanks so much for giving this a try.